digestion of starch by salivary amylase the starch is converted into dextrose and maltose by the presence of saliva saliva contain salivary amylase enzyme so for this purpose we have to take same sample into the two test tubes so here first of all we have to confirm whether the starch is present or not so for that purpose we can take the sample into two test tubes and we can add the iodine solution for what purpose we have to confirm first whether the starch is present or not so the iodine solution adding to the first test tube then if turns into blue the sample contain starch then we confirmed the sample having the starch then in the second test tube we have the same sample in that sample we have to add saliva to the sample why because this salivary amylase is converted the starch into dextrose and maltose so here after mixing the saliva into the sample we can take into water bath for 15 to 20 minutes so why it is need for water bath means in our body temperature we have a 30 to 37 degree centigrade temperature so in the temperature only the starch is converted into dextrose and maltose so same likewise here the starch converts into dextrose and maltose by the temperature so for that purpose we have to keep in the water bath for 15 to 20 minutes then this is the second test tube then this half mixture is transform into third test tube why because we have to again confirm the iodine present or not then the third test tube again we have to add bendic reagent with the help of bendic reagent in the third so it will it will give the brick red color when we are boiling the test tube so here in the third test tube we have to add bendic reagent then we have to allow for the boiling so after boiling it is turned into red color so then with the help of red color we can identify the starch is converted into dextrose and maltose so due to that the amylase is react with the starch and converts into dextrose and maltose so that is the experiment thank you